Ron! Just a second! Quite simple minded, aren't they? Did you see his Potter and Weasley? But we've still got to save Neville from the ghoul. to be something in here I can use. Something. Oh no, there's more.
Now, how do I get out of here? here okay to the common room. Can't we go back to the common room now? Oh no! 
We need to find her. You'll be lucky. What do you mean, Peeves? A shame your headship, sir, doesn't want to be seen. So I'm running for the landscape on the fourth floor. <laughs> Crying something dreadful. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> did she say who did it? Oh, yes, Professor. He, he got very angry when she wouldn't let him in, you see. Nasty temper he's got, that serious black. And to that effect, Sir Cadogan will be standing in for the fat lady. Now, I know you're all still very worked up about what's happened, but my advice would be for you all to go to bed. The school talked of nothing but Sirius Black following his assault on the fat lady. But with their first ever Care of Magical Creatures lesson fast approaching, Harry, Ron and Hermione's attentions turned to Hagrid. Hagrid doesn't have a normal person's view of what's dangerous. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's get to the class early so that we can give Hagrid some support. It's his first lesson and he's probably more nervous than we are. shall we? Shouldn't we be there by now? Let's go into the grounds. My money's on the Chudley Cannons, coming bottom of the league again this year. Hey, did you hear that Hagrid's teaching care of magical creatures this year? Shouldn't we be going outside?
Shouldn't we be going outside? Hermione, I'm sorry to say it, but all that studying you're doing can't be healthy. If you're not careful, your brain's going to burst, you know? I appreciate your concern. Super! She up there, meet Buckbeak. Beautiful, isn't he? Now, the first thing you gotta know about hippogriffs is they're proud. You always wait for a hippogriff to make the first move. It's polite, see? You walk towards him and you bow and you wait. If he bows back, you're allowed to touch him. Harry, Ron, Hermione, who wants to go first? Right then, climb up there, just behind the wing joint. Well done. I expect you'd like to fly him. Right, catch as many as you can. You'll need to give Beaky a bit of a run before he can get airborne. Then just fly at the bats and Beaky will do the rest. Go on then. That was amazing. You really know how to handle him. I'd say that was an A+. Good work. Give me a go at that thing. This'll be easy. You're not dangerous at all, are you? You ugly great brute. Malfoy, no! Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're not dying, it's just a scratch.
Harry made his way to the Quidditch match, unaware that events that day would take an even worse turn. As the Gryffindor team struggled against the weather, Harry caught sight of a giant black dog high in the stands. An eerie silence fell across the stadium, and a horribly familiar wave of cold swept over him. Dementors swarmed over the pitch, and with his mother's screams ringing in his ears, Harry fell from his broom and knew no more. Harry slept restlessly in the hospital wing, sinking into dreams full of clammy, rotted hands and petrified pleading. He could hear voices whispering, but they made no sense whatsoever. Ron? Quiet! I know where Sirius Black is. He's down in the dungeons. Follow me! Ron? Sirius Black. He's in the dungeons. Come on! What if Ron gets himself in trouble? I should follow him.
Ron, what are you doing? We can't take on Sirius Black on our own. Come on. Professor Dumbledore. Oh, you shut up! He's in the corner! Go on! <gasps> ah. <laughs> Ron? <laughs> Polygy's potion. I think we're even now. Perhaps I might mention that I saw Sirius Black drag you off into the night. Good night, Ron! How did you know where I was? Peeves! He couldn't wait to tell someone what Draco was up to. Ah! I brought your stuff, including the Marauder's Map. This place gets many visitors. It's horrible. Yeah! Bet Hermione. Bet Hermione. I think someone's coming. <coughs> Hermione! What on earth did you come down here for, Harry? You should still be in the hospital wing! Long story. And one that involves Malfoy and Polyjuice Potion. Well, let's hurry up and get out of here. Hermione, there's still a gap under that door, if that's any help. Careful, Hermione! I think we've got to get to that switch. Go! 
Did you find anything? Brilliant! Can he reach that switch and get us out of here? Fantastic! Yeah, nice one! I hope this means we can all get out of here now. Those things. Red cap. Don't you read anything? No. Restricted area. Get out.
Thanks, Hermione. You really saved us. Oh, I just remembered. We still haven't got any Graphorn Horn for Snape's potions class tomorrow. Um, Hermione? <gasps> Where did you...? Draco. He dropped it. Ron, you're amazing. There's more than enough for everyone here. Let's all turn in. I'm worn out and I really could do with a good sleep. Winter came to Hogwarts. The sky lightened to a dazzling opaline white, and the muddy grounds were hidden beneath a blanket of soft snow. Inside the castle, there was a buzz of Christmas in the air, marred only by worries over Professor Snape's imminent potions class. Well, we got the grap horn horn, but last time I checked, we were still missing some of the other ingredients. We better go and find them before we go to Snape's class then. Don't you just love collecting cards? They're hidden all over the place. We need to get some chis purple carapaces. You know, I do wish Sirius Black was after Malfoy instead of you, Harry. Ron! supposed to be in there you can't go that way oi you're not supposed to be in there hey leave that alone we need to get some chis purple carapaces I do hope they find Sirius Black soon. He sounds really scary. I can't imagine how you're feeling, Harry. I've been wondering, do you think Scabbers has been looking ill lately? No offence, Ron, but Scabbers didn't look that healthy to begin with. Maybe I should change his diet or something. You could try, but I can't see it's going to do much for him, to be honest. How are we supposed to catch Billy Wicks? Ron! On my way!
Aren't those chis purples under those bushes? How do you think we'd get them out of there? A chis purple carapace! Just one more and we'll have enough. That's it. We have all the chis purple carapaces we need. Where can we find some fire seeds? This is where we can get fire seeds. A fire seed! <sighs> Just that's it! We have all the fire seeds we need.
It isn't this way. You can't go through there. Shall we go to potions class? Hey, leave that alone. You can't go through there. Oi! You're not supposed to be in there! Hey, leave that alone! Where do you think you're going? What are you doing? Oi! You're not supposed to be in there! We've got all our ingredients. We should go to potions class. Oi! You're not supposed to be in there! Where do you think you're going? Get away from there! That's off limits. Get to your lesson. Where do you think you're going? That's off limits. Get to your lesson. Hey, leave that alone. Oi, you're not supposed to be in there. You're not allowed through there. We need to go down to the dungeons. And, as you can see, combine to form the antidote to uncommon poisons, which can be administered to cure such things as the venomous bite of a doxy. Now, I would like you to gather together the following ingredients in time for our next lesson. Flying seahorses, doxy eggs, toasted dragonfly thoraxes, and fairy wings. We will be using these ingredients to make the girding potion. Class dismissed. I have ancient runes next. You two go to charms. I'll meet you there. What is she on about? What are we doing in the dungeons? We shouldn't be here. We really should be going.
Yeah. Shouldn't we be going to Charms now? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Which is why the Carpe Retractum spell is useful. It allows you to seize and pull objects within your direct line of sight towards you. Sorry. Miss Granger? Would you be so kind as to bring Harry and Ron to the front with you? It's your turn to retrieve the Carpe Retractum spellbook 